Hello children, I hope all of you are great and at home making use of your time most effectively. Remember children, a moment wasted is a moment lost. So without wasting any time, look at my board, all of you. What is written there? We are about to study value education. And so, I hope all of you have your value education books in front of you. Well, I have mine. And the chapter that we are going to be studying today, look here. It is environmental awareness. And what page are you going to take, children? You are going to take page number 25. Have you taken it? Okay. Now, let me show you what we have on page number 25. Here we are. Can you see that? It's environmental awareness. And if you can see, taking care of the environment is our duty. So children, what do you think is the meaning of environment? Environment means our surrounding, whatever you see around us. And you know children, in this chapter, this is not a chapter, it is a unit. In this unit, you are going to study four different lessons. So the name of the unit is environmental awareness and in that unit we are going to be studying four lessons. So our environment is our home. It is important for all of us. Why is it important for all of us? As it provides air. The air that you see around you children is completely free of cost. So God has given us this beautiful nature all around us. And nature gives us air free of cost. The air that we breathe is what I'm talking about. And that comes to us free of cost. And the other thing that comes to us free is water, the rivers and the oceans and all the seas and all the streams. We get water from there. And some amount of water cannot be used, but some amount of water can be used and that's free for us. So God has given us such beautiful things. And what do we people do children? Sometimes we waste it. Now. We have got air, water, food and other basic needs. Everything that comes to us from our environment. And then we must protect our environment and show concern towards it. So whatever things have been given to us by God, we should be able to use those things properly without wasting, without destroying. We should be able to take care of it. And when we take care of the environment, what will happen children? It will be useful for many others. If we waste things, nothing will be left for others. So, can you see there? How can you take care of the environment? There will be four chapters that we are going to study. And the first one is care for plants. So we must take care of all the plants and trees that are around us. And then care for animals. Animals are a necessary part of this environment. And animals depend on plants sometimes for their food. So plants and animals are useful to us. So we must care for both. And then you see waste management. Waste management 
and under waste management what is this waste management children managing the waste managing our waste so you see there are three r's that you can see there reduce reuse and recycle now i won't speak too much about this now because it will come in the chapters later then save resources so what are resources water is a resource air is also a resource food is also a resource all that you can see here are our resources and most of them are given to us by god free of cost so what should we do children we should save them we should not overuse them when you overuse something then there will not be enough for others isn't it so now let's turn the page and move to page number 26 children this is how your page looks so page number 26 it is and what do we see there be kind to the environment so we should be kind to our surroundings now before we even start reading this can you see the pictures on that page children have you seen the pictures on that page look at it there are two children a boy and a girl what are they doing they are planting a small sapling a small plant and you see this little girl here what is she doing she is watering the plants in her garden now are they good things to do or are they bad things you tell me they are good things to do and then you see here there are some children what are they doing they are picking up the waste from the street and putting it into a sack so that they can throw it in a proper place and also this boy he's doing a very very clever thing you know children what would happen if the same boy had to put that banana peel on the road what would happen then if you throw a banana peel on the road and you know it's so slippery maybe someone would have slipped on it and gone for a nice toss what's the meaning of that someone would have fallen down and that would be a very rude thing to do if you throw a banana peel on the road and somebody else fell down because of you that would be such a rude thing to do but this boy here in your picture can you see what he's doing children he is throwing the banana peel exactly where it belongs he's throwing the banana peel into a dust bin a waste bin can you see that and here you have another boy he has picked up all the garbage and he's going to throw it in the proper place so are we good to start this can we start reading yes be kind to the environment so as little children you may tell me ma'am you're asking me to be kind to the to the environment how shall i be kind to the environment so even as a little child you can do some small things like this that is throw the waste where it belongs and if you have plants in your garden just take a little watering can if you don't have a watering can doesn't matter take any vessel and put some water in your plants and remember in your whole life try to plant as many trees as you can if you have a garden good for you okay so put some plants in your garden and remember after planting them it's not enough you need to even be pouring water give it sufficient water okay so now living things and their surroundings form the environment so whatever you see around you is your environment living things like the plants and animals depend on each other and also on the non living things in the environment like now children what are the non living things in the environment i already told you that air isn't it water food you have it there and clothes 
and also your house, your shelter. Also temperature, the heat or the cold and light. Where do we get light from? Do we get light from the moon or do we get light from the sun? We get light from the sun. We also get energy from the sun. Just imagine a day when it is raining heavily. How would you feel about it? Yes, you would enjoy the rain. But how would you feel about it? You would feel so dull because there's no sunlight and we can't go out to play. So these are the non-living things which help us in our life. Now, human beings are dependent. Look at that word children, dependent. Do you know the meaning? The word dependent comes from the word depend. So dependent means we depend on others. We depend on each other. So human beings are dependent on the environment for all their needs. Our basic needs like air, water, food, clothes, shelter, etc. are all obtained from various parts of the environment. So we get everything from our environment and that's why we need to take care of it. Human activities. Now, these are the negative things that are happening today. Human activities like cutting the trees, cutting down trees, killing animals, overuse of natural resources. So children, natural resources means the things which come to us from nature. Improper garbage disposal. So what is garbage? Garbage is waste. And improper garbage disposal means instead of putting the things in the proper place, we throw them elsewhere. That is improper, not proper. So, use of plastics, pollution of air, water and soil. So, what happens children? The air, the water and the soil are polluted, made, made dirty. By whom? By human beings, by all of us. And then what happens? That is affecting the natural environment. So, what can we do as little children? I already said that to you. You can see it there even in your picture. Little things that you do can help to improve the environment. We are using the environment and its resources to such an extent that it is being polluted and used up very fast. So what should we do? We should use the resources that are given to us very very carefully and we should never overuse things. Now it is necessary that we understand our environment and use its resources wisely so that these are available to the future generations as well. So if you don't waste, if we all don't waste, the things will remain for others to use and also our future generations. When we grow old, we will die. Then there will be other smaller children there on this earth. What will they do? If we use up everything, there will be nothing left for them. So always keep it in mind. If I waste even a single drop of water, remember, it is completely wasted for everyone. No one gets to enjoy that. So remember children, this is environmental awareness. So you must be aware of your environment and you must take care of your environment. So children, this is the end of today's class but I'll be catching up with you very soon. Thank you.